On May 8, 1920, a boy wonder was born. He was to become Ireland's first superstar of golf, Jimmy Bruin. Jimmy was breaking records and winning local competitions from an early age. Comparisons to the great Bobby Jones were a regular occurrence as he beat the best the golfing world had to offer, amateur and professional. He truly etched his name into Irish golf history. I used to play a lot of scratch cups and Jimmy Brown had won them all. And this name kept cropping up and the, the miracle things he did in the golf course, they were kind of like fairy tale stories. Jimmy Bruin had a unique backswing and a great downswing, which is all that really matters. What a ball striker, what a talent. A genius. He had the huge high backswing with the club anywhere but online, but he dropped it right back into position and his impact was absolutely superb. He was so good, he went out and he took a six, uh, seven iron with him. And the caddy didn't move, he was just picking the ball left, left and right, he was so accurate. He was the most wonderful pair of hands I've ever seen in my golf club. Delightful man, not as big as I thought. Beautiful short game. And when he stood over a putt, you felt he was going in. In Ireland, we've got a great tradition and indeed a great history of golf. And Jimmy Bruin, he was a boy in, in, in achieving what he did. A story with magical ingredients. A hugely talented teenager who took the golfing world by storm. Henry Cotty said, Jimmy Bruin was the greatest player I've ever seen as an amateur. If he wanted to play against any two players in the world, he would have picked Jimmy Bruin as his partner. My name is James Bruin, and I'm a grandson of Jimmy Bruin. To be part of the Bruin family is an absolute honour. People are always telling me how much they loved him and how great he was. He was our Bobby Jones, and somebody that we have all looked up to over the years, and still do.